So let's head to Logan Airport now because for months it was a refuge for migrants with nowhere to go here in Massachusetts. Today, nearly 50 families were forced to clear out. NBC 10's Lauren Melendez live for us here at the airport this morning with more on how this all unfolded and Lauren, where those families go next. Melody, these families are going to emergency shelters, and I just have to show you the stark difference because even just this morning, you really couldn't stand in here. Even weeks ago, this was essentially a massive bedroom. This is a, a turning point, really, in the state's effort to clear a safer alternative for emergency shelters. Uh, young children, we had pregnant women in this area. Entire families were sleeping on the floor here with blow-up beds at some, at some points. But we know this morning a line of taxis arrived earlier to take many of them to an old prison that has been reworked for housing. I couldn't end the insecurity. I couldn't go anywhere. Melissa Merville spends part of her day in a Quincy shelter and nights with her one-year-old son in Logan Airport. She fled the violence in Haiti, and she's here in Massachusetts with no family. Are you concerned? Are you scared about what the next steps are? Uh, no, not really. Melissa is one of the thousands of asylum seekers who chose this sanctuary state. Despite no real home and very little money, she told me caseworkers who talked to her while at the airport have helped her figure out life after Tuesday's deadline to evacuate the makeshift shelter in Terminal E. I'll get back to work to find the kill for the baby. Melissa is working as part of Governor Mara Healy's efforts to relieve the state's crowded emergency shelters. She is requiring everyone using them to recertify their need every 30 days. It's a way to ensure they're trying to get jobs. Melissa took advantage of the emergency work authorization application process and despite the current circumstances, expressed optimism about her future. Makes me feel stronger. She, along with the handful of families who were still staying overnight in Logan, will not be allowed to return. Her next chapter will begin at a repurposed Norfolk prison. Up to 140 families are allowed there for a maximum of nine months. And afterward, she'll transition into the permanent housing she's been approved for. And look, guys, as we're back here live in this area where many of those migrant families were living, I do have to say that the people who have been on the front lines helping them for the past few weeks, they still have concern as they move into the next chapter. But again, at least right now, these shelters that have been uh, scattered around the state, they're a, a space that these families can live in that is designated for them, at least until they can find more stable housing. Reporting here in Logan Airport, I'm Lauren Melendez, NBC10 Boston.